Hey guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. I'm back with another Minecraft video and today I'll be showing you how to make a Minecraft witch. As you may know, Halloween is coming up really soon and it's one of my favorite holidays. I love dressing up and one of my first costumes ever when I was a kid was a witch. So I'm really excited to show you guys what the witch looks like in the game and then we'll get started with the templates right after. Welcome to the dungeon, which is in the basement of a huge house that I made with my friends in a server. It is a very spooky theme with turtle heads everywhere. We're doing some renovations in the back end of the dungeon and here I made a lair for some witches. I gave them a whole bunch of pumpkins. Quick tour of the witches lair. This lair comes with three beds and three enchanting tables for the three witches living here. Also comes with a friendly black cat, multiple cauldrons for cooking their strange concoctions, and some brewing stands to make their potions. Here's what they look like close up. They have a little wart on the nose and purple eyes with that really cool black hat. I made a villager figure before and a witch is pretty much the same thing except for a few changes. So hope you guys try this out and let's get started with the templates. These are all the art cal and perler bead colors that I used. Make sure to pause the video so that you can copy down all of these templates. Once you finish the patterns, it's time to iron and I'm using parchment paper and my iron is on the polyester setting. When the first side is fully fused, flip the pegboard over and then grab another sheet of parchment paper and iron the other side. While the beads cool down, place a heavy book on top so that the pieces can stay flat. Now let's assemble the witch's head and hat. I'm going to save the nose for the last step. These pieces make the top of the witch's hat and you're going to need an acrylic rod or a toothpick. I widened the hole right in the center of the hat and stuck the acrylic rod through. Bring the top piece up a little bit so that the side pieces can be connected. and cut off the excess rod. This piece will perfectly click into the four holes on the top. Lastly, I'm using an acrylic rod again to attach the final piece to the top of the witch's hat. It can even move a little bit. Next, let's assemble the torso of the witch. It's the same pattern as the Minecraft villager that I made earlier, and you should definitely check out that video if you haven't seen it already. The 
The arms can be a bit tricky to assemble, so make sure you connect the pieces in the correct orientation. Arms are done, and now let's finish with the legs. If you find that the leg pieces fall apart or disconnect really easily, you might have to iron these pieces a little bit longer. I ironed these pieces to around 0.3 centimeters in thickness, and if you find that they aren't connecting at all, then it could be that these pieces were over ironed, so just watch out for that. All the body parts are ready to be assembled together and I'm using these acrylic rods again. By the way, I got these from ArtCal and if you don't have them, you can always use toothpicks or just glue everything together. The witch is almost complete, and for the final touches, I'm going to bring out my mini beads to make a potion. I'm also placing down one light brown mini bead so that this can be the cute wart on the witch's nose. To iron mini beads, I have my iron really low on the silk setting. I made two other colors, a green one and a blue one, which were made using glow-in-the-dark beads. Finally, I have to use a little bit of glue for this step, and it's to attach the nose pieces together, as well as the little tiny wart. Once the nose is glued onto the face, this witch is ready to be equipped with all sorts of magical potions. Nobody appreciated witches back in the day, but they're like chemists, and we love a good chemist. We have found the witch, may we burn our witch! <laughs> Hey 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. This week's feature includes all of these amazing beaters who recreated some of my other Minecraft projects. Make sure to tag me at cutiecrafts on Instagram or Twitter if you want to be featured in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what you wanted to dress up as this Halloween. Even though we are probably all staying at home and staying safe, it's always okay to dress up at home and like eat a cake. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna dress up as. I have a few things in mind and hope you guys stay safe during this Halloween season. I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye!